All right. Jurassic Park Lego, or not so much because these are not Lego, they are SL toys. These are knockoff Jurassic Worlds. Did I say Jurassic World? Did I say Jurassic Park? I don't know. Either way, uh, these are rip-offs. And to be honest, they're really good quality rip-offs. I've had a quick look um, and they've got everything in there which I believe that should be in there if you're talking about um, bloody the real deal. So I, I haven't seen the real deal just normal packs of these. I've seen the big ass packs that you get in the shop o Renos. Um, but this is the first time I've seen these. Got them online and fairly cheap as you'd expect seeing as they're ripoffs. So the packaging, as you can tell, has got the Lego Jurassic Park or Jurassic World game. Um, illustrations on there so whether or not that would be something that they have in the um, bloody good ones I don't know but uh, let's have a look see what we got inside you get stickers really cool stickers actually uh, for some reason the Jurassic World logo isn't a sticker but you get two stickers um, bloody Owen I believe Jesus how long has it been since I've seen it and uh, the T-Rex from the looks of it. Now, inside, this is where they get a bit rip-offy, okay? Because this does not really look like a T-Rex. The T-Rex looks far more different than that, okay? I think I'm gonna have to compare them to real ones at some point because these don't look all that great. Right, let's rip into it. So there it is, the T-Rex. Very easy to put together, as you'd expect. Um, for some reason, you've got a few little circular pieces. I don't know what on earth they have to do with it. But uh, it's a very simple, just push the jaw in place, arms and legs in place. Apparently that's the T-Rex. To me that looks very Velociraptor-y, to be honest. Um, but up next is the Velociraptor. This is probably meant to be blue, I'd expect. Would you expect? I would expect. Um, I thought I had all six of these. In fact, I do have all six of these. I'm sure I do. I think there's one missing. I need to go find that. But here we go. Let's open up. We'll say blue. Again, you get your two stickers. This time a helicopter and the the Lego jobby that we're gonna do. This one looks a little bit better. Let's have a look. So this one does look a little bit better. You actually have a little bit of articulation for the neck here. And how is it meant to look stack up? It, yeah, it looks, looks all right. But again, it's, it's quite rip off -y, a little bit far from the, the truth there. But what do you expect? It's a, a cheap Chinese rip off. Stegosaurus, that's the next jobby. Let's, uh, let's, let's, let's see what we got here. As per usual, your two stickers. Stickers are alright. And inside this one looks pretty good. So with the Stegosaurus, um, you get, like with the T-Rex, some reason these weird little circular bits. Um, I see on the box, it's meant to have two bits on its top but it does not. Um, but it compares pretty well. It's not, again, exactly the same. Some paint is off. You can see the similarities, but uh, you know, it's a rip off. What do you expect? All right, I found the others as well, by the way. So the last three to go, Triceratops, the Dilophosaurus, and I guess another 
um, bloody what's its face Velociraptor, and that one actually looks like blue now. So the other one could have been um, Jimmy, the uh, T-Rex uh, Velociraptor mate. Also, I see if we look at this um, Stegosaurus, we've got a, uh, a pterodactyl type creature there getting um, caught in some kind of net. So I think, yeah, that's right. He becomes a sticker. So all the other, that's what, is the box art go into the stickers. Uh, it has absolutely nothing to do with the figure, but hey. So, tri tri Triceratops, again, looks all right, but obviously a little bit different. Here's the little guy. I um, managed to put the two circular bits on his back, like the uh, sort of picture wants you to do, uh, instead of putting them on the base there, because, like, really, what the fuck. So, but it's meant to be see-through, so it doesn't quite work. Um, yeah, and what I've noticed actually on the box, other than the awesome instructions on how to put them together, you've got some attack defense potential stats. Like, I guess, really, what the fuck? Uh, but yeah, again, dodgy. Is this actually a six to 12, ages six to 12? Interesting. Um, I shouldn't be playing with these, because, hey, I'm not 12, nor am I 6, or in between. The next one, Blue Ferociraptor. We got, I would expect, an Owen sticker. Yes, there he is. Ah, see, that's what he should look like. These are obviously the proper Lego ones. They look pretty good, and this is what I get. Which actually looks like one of the better ones. So he's very much exactly the same as the other Velociraptor. Uh, how does he stack up against the picture? Pretty well. Pretty well, to be honest. Again, a few minor details, like they haven't painted any white um, on the teeth or black on the claws. Other than that, he's, uh, he's not too bad. What you do find is the quality of the plastic. Is so fun times, battery ran out onto my phone instead of my camera. On to the last one, the Dilophosaurus. This one strikes me as, oops, as the uh, the nicer looking one of the pack, uh, just because uh, the colors. So hopefully, with that nicer green and red, hopefully we get that in the actual product. So let's, with one hand, try this fang. What are we expecting for a sticker though? Because uh, maybe it's a Jeep. We get getting a Jeep for the sticker? Is, is this what we're gonna get? Oh my God. One handed, not, not fun. Oh right, we get three different stickers, guys. Wow, everybody, can you, can you go crazier with that? Um, now this is a problem, okay, right, good. It's actually zoomed in, focused in. We've got Dilophosaurus, guy with stick, and one of the gyrospheres, cool stickerinos. And here we go, the last one, Dilophosaurus, which, as I've said, almost every single one so far, looks pretty good. Probably the best one so far. But uh, there's the Dilophosaurus. Again, we'd like the Velociraptors. It's practically a Velociraptor, um, but with ear wing thingies. You know what I'm talking about. So let's, uh, I reckon we should stack all these up, put them all together so you can see how bad they are. So here they are. The six figures, the Jurassics, the Lego. Look how they stack up together. This, with, if I had, this Velociraptor next to this T-Rex, would you say, um, what the fuck are you doing, Scott? How are you so shit at filming? Or would you say, um, bloody hell, get that leaf out of the way. Um, or, <clears throat> finally, would you say, it looks nothing like a T-Rex, and compared to that Velociraptor, it is tiny. It is tiny. Um, I do hope, the um, the official ones are better than these. 
otherwise there's going to be a whole heap of pissed off little kitties. So um, <clears throat> comment below if you enjoyed my fantastic filming. Um, I was working with some terrible equipment. I do need to get some more better equipment and um, hopefully you'll join me next time. See ya! Bye! Wow! Help she make up? What the actual fuck? Right, let's open this up. Oh yes, yeah. Well that's good. No disappointment there. Definitely 